Hi everyone. <clears throat> Happy Monday. My name is Joyce McTeer. I am the owner and operator of La Georgia Creations. I am coming to you ladies and gentlemen today to show you how to make this pair of abstract earrings. Okay. Here are the items that you are going to need for this DIY. You're going to need two uh, fish hooks. You're going to need two jump rings. You're going to need whatever uh, al aluminum wire that you are using and this is copper aluminum wire and it's 12 gauge wire you're going to need your choice of hammer whichever whichever one I will not be using this one I will be using this one and you're going to need your ruler your wire cutters and your round nose pliers so we're gonna go ahead and get started Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the very first thing that we want to do is, of course, we want to cut our 12-gauge aluminum wire, and we want to cut 10, we want 10 inches, okay? So we want to cut out two 10-inch two, two pieces of wire. So we're just going to measure it, and then we want to snip right here. Just like that, Okay. So we have our two pieces. Now the very next thing we're going to do is we're going to bend our wire. So we're going to, I, my suggestion is if you want both of your pieces to pretty much be the same way or the same size, you wanna bend them together, okay? So what I am going to do is I'm going to start, it doesn't matter which end you start on, I'm going to just slightly bend it up, just like that, like on a little slant. And then I'm gonna bend it up. And then I'm going to put my finger right here, maybe about an inch or two, and I'm going to bend it again. When I bend it the second time, I'm gonna bend it so and push it all the way over. And then I'm just gonna be making a series of these little, see what I'm doing? Bends. So as I'm, I'm making sure that I'm lining it up, every time I do it, I'm lining it up so that they are kinda of, sorta of the same size, okay? Then I'm gonna go up here. And then this is the way you keep your, um, but your earrings will be pretty much made the same way. Okay, then I wanna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down where I have this. I'm going to go down a couple of centimeters and I'm going to bend right there. Just like that. Okay, I'm doing something different. Then I'm going to go up and bend that the same size. So those two are going to be the same size. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to try to make this last part right here the same length as this one. So I'm gonna bend that just like that. Okay, and this is pretty much what you are going to have, ladies and gentlemen. This is your design, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on each end and I am going to make some loops, okay? Excuse me, y'all. Y'all gonna have to excuse me for my little nose, okay? So that's what you're gonna have. Now I'm gonna go down the bottom of each end of each one and just make some loops. That one. That one. That one. Now this is what you're gonna have. This is how your earrings are going to start to look. Now what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go and hammer them down and I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so I am back, ladies and gentlemen. So this is pretty much how your earrings are going to look. They should look like this. Once you hammer them down, this is what they're gonna look like. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just push them in together. 
Now these are not going to be as big as mine. The ones you all saw me with, the, the ones you saw me with, the ones that I had on Friday, they won't be as big as, as those. But this is what I'm doing, pushing it in, okay? And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch them, stretch it out. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to pull it out just a tad bit, just like this. And then the next thing I'm going to do, once I pull it out, I am going to start bending. So I'm gonna bend one this way, and then this piece this way, and then one piece this way, and then this piece this way. And this is pretty much what you are going to have. This is going to be your abstract earring. I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit more and you can make these, y'all, as, uh, as big or as short as you want. I made mine's. Mine's are, I think I did mine's about maybe 15 inches. That I made them a little big. So this pretty much is your abstract earrings. Now the next thing I did was... I just went in and I started really making it look like it had some twists and all that in there. Just giving it a little bit, defining the shape a little bit more of what I want. And then I just keep pulling on it. And like I said, you can, you can make it however length you want it to be however if you want it to be. So this is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. And like I said, it does, it's not exactly like the ones I had on, but it is. It's just, I, they're made this pretty much the same way that I, the, um, the, of the ones that I had on Friday. I'm gonna show you. Except for these are longer. They're made the same way, they're bent the same way and everything, okay? So the very last thing we're going to do is we're going to add on our jump rings and we're going to add on our fish hooks. And Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here are our little pair of abstract earrings. And like I said, um, you can make them, you can pull on them to make them a little, to stretch them out a little bit more, to make them longer. To make them shorter, you can push them in. But here they are. So I want to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me for today's DIY. Please join me for tomorrow's Tuesday show and tell. And also, don't forget about uh, Friday Jewelry Talk Live fr on Fridays at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want to thank you all for joining me for today. You ladies and gentlemen, y'all have a wonderful and awesome day. Peace and blessings, everyone. See ya.